Morning guys, happy Friday. This is our Friday sustainable living story and I'm gonna try another video for today. If you missed the video last week, I talked about teeth brushing swaps and that's on my feed. Um, I also wanted to mention that yesterday I released a giveaway with the County Emporium because I'm having a pop up there next week. So be sure to check that out. Um, and then today I'm also going to the Tweed News to drop off some more things, uh, set that up as a new stockist, yes, this week. And then I'm going to Joji Cafe to do some measuring and get organized for our holiday market, which is happening on November 7th. So it's going to be an outdoor thing. It's going to be a uh, late afternoon, early evening, so we can have like lights and keep it like a little bit safer and social distance. So... If you haven't seen that on Facebook yet, like go check it out. Um, so I wanted to start today's story talking a little bit about habits because I think there's this big conception for people trying to switch over to more sustainable stuff that a lot of this is really inconvenient. It's so hard to do. Um, it costs a lot of money and like I totally hear that as a mom. I feel like there's just every week there's something new that gets put on our plate and you're like, all right, I'll just get to that when I can. And it's just another thing that kind of could make you feel like a failure that you're not doing it. So I think I, I definitely hear that. Um, and so I thought today's story could be something that people are already doing and it doesn't require that much effort. Uh, a lot of the sustainable or like eco-friendly living stuff, you can just sometimes just buy another product to switch. Like you just switch your toothbrushes, for example. It doesn't require like changing a habit or anything like that. Um, but I think maybe part of our problem is, is that we think we have to be perfect at it right away. Like maybe you bought some reusable facial rounds and you're like, oh, I'm going to be this great eco lady. I'm going to spend the money and now I've got it. They're beautiful. They're lovely. And then a week goes by and you didn't wash them yet. And then you go back to your paper ones. And then it goes by another week and another week and another week. And you just decide that you spent the money. It didn't work out for you. And then you give them away. Um, and then you are less likely to keep trying with like the sustainable living thing. So that could happen. It probably has. But I think if we approached new habits as not being perfect uh, and that they're going to take some time and that you're not going to get rid of like your paper option until you've got the habit formed and then not beat yourself up for it or like feel badly and just be like hey I use these for a whole week I already made such a difference so I think we need to approach habit forming a little more like that it doesn't have to be perfect um, and I really see this with this whole new habit we've had to form with mask wearing like everybody like in our whole society is now wearing masks we have to remember the masks we have to buy the masks we have to figure out organization systems we have to wash them and what like how our kids are going to be sent to school with them so I think that that's another thing too like we're seeing we're forced to make that habit right but how many people forgot their mask in their car like 17 times and had to go back out and get it and now you just grab it when you're going in somewhere so I know that's how it went for me um and I think that that's the case for everybody so that being said um I'm also like while I'm talking I really hate watching myself it's weird I feel like I'm talking to myself so I'm going to show you guys these sweet pumpkins while I'm chatting these are from Harlow Gnomes, um, another sweet Harlow business. So anyway, last winter I formed a new habit in um, like hankies. So I tried to switch over to using hankies and um, it's it was really tough at first. Like I had to basically, so I thought like I'll just bring this pile of hankies with me to work and it's gonna work out. And I did that. And then I had this pile of stinky hankies that I'd already blown my nose in. And then I had to figure out, okay, I need to bring like a sandwich bag to put my dirty ones in. And then I had a sandwich bag full of dirty hankies in my work bag for like 15 years before I washed it. Um, but eventually I started, like, I really liked the habit switch because this is cotton flannel. This is from Cheeks Ahoy. And I feel like moms and sometimes just adults in general 
don't have a lot of nice things in their life and they're looking for some self-care but let me tell you like having a nice hanky is it feels so good when you're not feeling good or if you have allergies it's not like a thin piece of paper and then you have to go to the garbage um it feels like you're treating yourself to something nice so i really wanted this to stick because i loved it it was lovely so what I found over time was I started thinking, okay, I'm getting all my laundry together. Now I'm going to go get those bags of all my cloths because I have cloths everywhere for different things. So it like the habit was formed, right? Um, it took some time and it definitely wasn't perfect, but it was something I wanted to do. So I eventually got there. And then I see like all these great moms sharing their same swap or like setup or how they're figuring out cloth masks for their kids at school and this is what it is so you have cloth masks in like a clean bag and then you put them in another bag when they're all dirty and that's how you make it work so it's the same thing as like the napkin hanky situation that i was doing so think of it this way okay i really didn't think of this setup before i started Put your masks in a bag put like if you want these to be your napkins like definitely use a different color for napkins and hankies just so you can keep it straight for yourself hankies and then your napkins and then they can all go in there and you can have this in your car or you can have this set up in your kid's lunch bag or whatever or your work bag and then at the end of the week when you're doing laundry you just go collect them all which people are doing anyways right now so that would be like just a really easy way to use the same habit that you're already forming and all you're doing is having to put a few more cloths in there and like let me tell you the kleenex box at school and the area around it is going to be the dirtiest place probably the most germy place and I don't know how well that little area is getting cleaned and like that's not on anybody's shoulders because the Kleenex box can move at any time and it's just like at work if you have your own Kleenex box that's great but if you think about the space around it um, it's not going to be very clean so you might be thinking like hankies are a little bit disgusting um, that's true if you don't wash them they are probably pretty disgusting um, and then I also wanted to show you guys I have these lovely um, children's napkin cloths they're also from Cheeks Ahoy this is like an assorted pack um, but napkins are also really easy to make so are hankies um, you could even use your cloths like if your kids are now in school and you still have all those like sweet little baby muslin blankets and stuff those would be perfect like this would be a great way to repurpose them so anyways that's today's sustainable living story hopefully that's like a habit that um, would be really easy to start and if you have any other questions just let me know. I love chatting about this stuff and I hope you have a lovely weekend. Thank you.